Ladies and gentlemen, time to kick the action back in gear. Please welcome making his way to the blue corner, Connor Eskridge. Connor Eskridge fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, coming to you tonight by way of the Punch Porch Academy. Nicknamed King Teflon, the Teflon Don, 24 years old, walking to the cage at 5'10", weighing in at 155 pounds. Connor Eskridge making his mixed martial arts debut tonight here in Nemesis Fighting Alliance cage. Fighting his, tonight, his opponent will be Brendan Wolf at the River City Warriors Academy. For the second half of the card here, I'm joined by Bellator and Nemesis Fighting Alliance veteran Jordan Dowdy. Jordan Dowdy, what can you tell me about Brendan Wolf coming to the cage this evening? Uh, Brendan Wolf's got a little bit of experience. He's one and two, but I'm excited anymore. It used to be when you saw a debut guy, you knew it was going to be kind of sloppy, but these guys are getting real polished. Me and you were talking about this off the mic. So anytime I see an O and O guy, especially if they're young, generally they've been training almost since they were 16, 17, and they were waiting to be out of college or something. And and you never know what you're going to get with these guys. I'm excited to see what he brings because he's looking, you know, for someone that's got three fights already. That first walk, and you don't now, know what you make of what you have. His opponent making his way to the red corner, Brendan Wolf. Mixed reaction from the crowd here tonight for Brendan Wolf. Brendan Bones Wolf fighting out of the River City Warriors Academy under Eric Clarkson. They might have been saying Bones. Oh. A quick recap of the card this evening. Starting off the night with Daniel Boyer via unanimous decision over Patrick Mahone. Austin Stiefelbin to TKO over Richard Jones. Kay Ward with a dominant grappling performance over Eric Galang and Nicole, the bazooka, bazooka, via unanimous decision and a K1 bout. Austin Stukley is another one of those guys, debut guy. He looked really polished for compared to like my first fight. Yeah, for sure. A absolutely. You know, people talk about how fast the sport is evolving. You know, five years ago is almost like caveman terms in, 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 in reference to mixed martial arts. I know, it's all right. Ladies and gentlemen, and this fight is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the NFA lightweight division, brought to you tonight by Sub-Zero Wellness. Play hard, recover fast, live well. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This dangerous style fighter stands five foot 10, weighed in 153.8 pounds. Tonight, he is making his amateur debut. Representing Punch Porch and fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Connor King Teflon Eskridge. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, is a wrestler standing 5'11, weighed in 155.3 pounds. He holds an amateur record, one win, two defeats. Representing 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu and River City Warriors. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Brandon Bones Wool. The referee in charge of the action, Dwayne Bess. As this fight starts, a uh, shout out to Nemesis Cutman Craig Nacello, who's recovering from hip surgery and watching at home. Absolutely, Craig is the man. You know, he'd be here with us tonight if he could. Craig, always, always a staple in the Nemesis Fighting Alliance community. Raps are the best hands, too, man. <laughs> Both gentlemen out here throwing bombs early. Connor Eskridge looking calm and collected for his, his MMA debut. Brendan Wolf dropping bombs early. Definitely looking to score. He's hanging his heads, hands low, chin a little high, trying to play that McGregor-esque game. I think as you see the sport evolve more and more, you're going to see a lot of guys go to the hands-down style. Yeah, if you have good head movement and can score off of it, it's a good way to counter punch. It's weird to see it in a debut, though. Ooh, nice inside body kick there by, uh, by Connor Eskridge. Very poised. Very poised. You know, coming out of the Punch Porch Academy, not, not exactly uh, the most profound gym in St. Louis, um, but clearly showing poison his debut with a big left hand on Brendan Wolf. Wow. Drops him, 
puts him out for the count and his mixed martial arts debut here for Nemesis Fighting Alliance. Patrick the Teflon Don. Connor Eskridge with a big right hand to put the lights out on Brendan Bones Wolf. Non-stop action to start off the second half of the card this evening. Brendan Wolf still down over there. That's a big shot landed. Yeah, and as it landed, he kind of front rolled at the same time. It was very awkward. Seems to be okay though. Smiling a bit. Yeah, shake hands. Good, good sign of showmanship from both gentlemen there. And again, he looked very polished. He looked like someone's been training for a while. Just he was calm, and even in the firefights and the early exchanges, usually in the in the army ranks when they first go, they're going at it like two dogs playing, and there's no breaks. Everybody's given 100 percent right out the gate, and he was moving in and out, hands down, caught a nice little hook, and, and that was what he needed there. Absolutely, is Israel Adesanya says it best. A lot of guys throwing hope, and he was aiming and firing. Crowd still going wild for Connor Eskridge out of the Punch Porch Academy. Brandon Wolf still having a tough time get, getting to his feet there. Hopefully, all is well. I'd have to see a replay, see where that landed. If it was like in the ear or toward the back of his equilibrium, it might just still be a little off, or they might be having him down there just wait a little bit until they make sure he's okay. Absolutely. You know, amateur fights, these guys aren't out there getting paid. They're doing it for the love of the game. Referees, officials, they all got to take special precaution with these guys. Yep, we all got to go work on Monday. He's a trauma nurse too, so. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Dwayne Best calls a stop to this fight in just one minute. 15 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by knockout, Connor King Teflon Eskridge. Amazing reception from the crowd there from Connor Eskridge. He earned it. Absolutely. What a great performance. It's hard to beat the Amy debuts that we've had so far. As far as, you know, selling tickets, having your family and friends come and just Connor, do knockouts like that. I think you brought enough people here to say some words, man. It's awesome to watch an amateur debut fighter come out with such great support, man. To have that behind you is amazing. Give us your thoughts on, on, on your amateur debut and um, winning in you know, dramatic fashion. Congratulations. Your thoughts on tonight. Um, first thing, I want to dedicate this fight, my boy Isaiah Kozak. Yeah, and uh, anyone with mental health issues, suicide, all that, I want to raise awareness. And uh, I'm so grateful to have everyone here to make this moment special for me. It means a lot to me, all my boys here, all my boys at UND watching online. All the people that couldn't be here, I love you guys. Thank you for making this moment for me. Let's go. Connor Eskridge, ladies and gentlemen. Special moment there for Connor Eskridge, dedicating the fight to his friend dealing with heart troubles. Um, powerful moment there in 